Tory. Good morning, Tory. Good morning. My question to you is, did you ever own a Dodge in, two, uh, in 2000? It was a, a... 12 years ago. Oh, my God. 12 years ago. Uh, um, a Dodge Neon, my first did you, car ever. Did, did you ever live on Sutton, Sutton Avenue? Sutton Avenue in East Providence. That's yeah. where I grew up. Yeah. Did you have, an, did you have a Dodge back then? A, ne a Dodge Neon. Yeah, okay. Well, you had a ticket... This goes ago. that far back? That that mm. far back? I have to. Oh my God! Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure I've been here. Um, you know, like we've been watching you since, two, since 2009. We've been watching you, <laughs> right? We got to respect the Quinn. Well, it was on one show that you guys had. I was actually like six months pregnant. Somebody had stole my license plates, and they got tickets on Thea Street. So I had came and seen you, and I was six months pregnant. <laughs> What did, so, what did you have, a boy or a girl? Uh, I have two boys and a girl now, but now they're 13, 14, and 15. Well, that long ago you came in. <laughs> that long ago. Oh, you're a repeat offender. Uh, that was a while ago, so I guess. Uh, and that one wasn't my fault. This one, unfortunately, my life's just been a little crazy. What's going on? Just um, COVID. We lost our place to live. Oh, that's awful. So what do you do for a living? Um, I'm a waitress at Tommy's Place, downtown Providence. Dr. Quinn, have you ever eaten at Tommy's Place? No, but I believe many, many moons ago I might have had a drink in the establishment, Judge. They serve alcohol there? Yes, they do. Do you remember Inspector Quinn coming in? <laughs> uh, maybe. A little younger, a little less grays. <laughs> <laughs> you have the less grace. Oh, me too. I, I got plenty of my kids give. One pops up every day. <laughs> Are you the bouncer too? Uh, that, that's what that's, he, call, he that's calls me. That's how she would remember me, Judge. <laughs> <laughs> that's what my boss calls me. He tells my daughter she just started breakfast there doing the waitress in 14, first job. Very proud of her. Well, I want to congratulate you on you know, having your daughter work there and giving her a good work ethic. Yes, got to teach him young. Yeah. Well, what are you trying to teach her? What are you trying to teach her? Uh, that you have to pay for everything in life. So money makes world the world go round, and you need lots of it. So <laughs> um, just, you know, getting well, up. It's more than money, right? Uh, well, uh, 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 that's a big portion of it, though. So you, you, need, you need that, unfortunately. Nothing in life's free, and nothing's getting cheaper. Uh, you know, a gallon of milk is more than a gallon of gas. Mm -hmm. So... Well, she's 14. She sees how hard you're working, right? She's working, so that may give her the incentive to stay in school. Yeah, she grew up with me, so um, they watched me struggle. I just want better. What's your dream for her? Um, she wants to be a veterinarian. There you go. So <laughs> that's it. Bingo, right? That's the that's the lesson. Yeah, absolutely. That's the lesson, right? No, that's that not just going to happen. That you have to work and set your sights, and that's going to make it happen. Absolutely. <clears throat> I mean, when I was in high school, you know, one of the things I did was I washed dishes in a restaurant. I wanted to be a lawyer, but I kept saying, I'm not going to do this the rest of my life, so I stayed in. Your daughter, has, you, have to, you have to energize that thought with her, you know? Yes. Make sure you do that now. I am. I am. <laughs> okay, we have other tickets going back to uh, 2008, 2010. You had a Mercury. Remember the Mercury? Three different, yeah. <laughs> three different wow. plates, a Hyundai, a Ford, a Mercury, and a, and a Chrysler. You get eight other charges. The red light violations and school zone violations. I know. No, listen, you're working hard. You got, you got kids. But this, this is simple. This is easy to rectify. Why? You're going through red lights. I mean, I'm probably guilty on all of them. I just, I don't have that much money to give you. How many kids do you have? I have three that I raised by myself. <laughs> you're a single parent? I am. Your story touched me, to be honest with you. So I understand what you're going through. I know you're working hard. You're trying to do something good for your family. You've been through some tough times. So I'm going to try to help you. I'm going to impose a fine of $250. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have that fine paid through what we call, I call, the Philomena Fund. So the Amina Fund is derived from funds that are sent here from people all over the country, all over the world, asking the court to use its discretion 
to help people that the court thinks are in, in need or knows are in need. And I've named that fund the Philomena Fund after my mother. Is her name. So we're going to pay all of these fines from that fund called the Philomena Fund, and you're not going to have to pay anything. Right? And I hope that you would pay forward to somebody else when things get better for you. And remember this day that when you needed some help, that somebody came forward. So the city will get it this morning. The city will get the $250 and you won't have to pay anything. Take care of your daughter. Good luck to you. I hope things go well. Thank you so much. And I hope someday she becomes a veterinarian. Yeah, I mean, me too. I'm saving up for the college fund now, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of money. <laughs> okay, good luck. Anything else you want to say? Uh, just thank you so much. We appreciate you. Good luck. Thank you so much.